Aaron Judge on the injured list. That's what all Yankee fans are talking about. Crashing into the wall that I didn't realize didn't move that way. What's an update on his timetable? You know what? He spoke in the clubhouse yesterday for the first time yeah. since he had that PRP injection, and essentially no timetable. You talk to Aaron Judge, you talk to Aaron Boone, and they said they're just going to take this day by day. Now, takes a little bit for that shot to kind of take effect, see if it promotes the healing, and you see that into the wall right there. That is a big body going into <laughs> that concrete wall, and really unfortunate. Obviously, he's a huge part of this Yankees lineup. He's a huge part of the Yankees in the clubhouse as well. And there's just no way to replace a guy like Aaron Judge. He means too much to the team. But the Yankees are going to need to try to find a way to do that. Lauren. You know what? He said no timetable. I was listening to his sound because there's a couple things going on. What did he mean by that? Well, he has a contusion, so yep. essentially a bruise on his big toe, and also there's a little bit of a ligament issue there. So uh, right now he's not in a walking boot. He's just walking around in regular shoes. He was at the ballpark yesterday. He was in the dugout for the second game yesterday. Uh, they are hoping that this heals quick, but they really don't know. They don't want to put a timetable on it because they don't want that date to be out there, sure. put pressure on him to come back. They want to make sure he's right before he comes back. Now, he was also asked whether or not he was a little relieved that it wasn't broken. And he said he wasn't necessarily relieved that his toe wasn't broken, more about where the placement is on, on where the issue is. With DJ LeMahieu last year, he had the issue with his toe. It was more under his foot. Aaron Judge said it's on the side of his big toe. They think that'll heal a little bit faster. It won't affect him as much. So fingers crossed from Yankee land that he's back sooner rather than later. He's so good with the New York media. They asked him initially, do you think the toe's broken? And he just skir he, he skirts it beautifully with charm. He's like, I don't know. I've never had a broken toe. It's an impossible void. You've said that. How will they try to fill it? Well, they're going to need other guys to step up. You saw they just called up Billy McKinney. He played center field yesterday. Uh, he's going to be an option all three outfield positions. Had a triple in the first game, a home run there in the second game. Then you also have guys like Jake Bowers, who's been there, Willie Calhoun with a home run yesterday. They are going to need to find a way. Now, John Carlos Stanton, another guy that just got back in that lineup. He's currently only DHing, but it'll be a matter of time until Aaron Boone starts rotating him into the outfield. But, you know, all of these options, they're not Aaron Judge. No disrespect to any of those guys. Right. But, you know, listening to Glaber Torres speak in the clubhouse yesterday, it's, it's not about trying to replace Aaron Judge. It's about each individual guy doing what they can do to help the team win as a unit. You can't look at it as, oh, we've got to replace Aaron Judge. Judge. You just need to focus on what you need to do. Yeah, tell that to Yankee fans, right? <laughs> you know, we always say they've done, Dero says this a lot, they've done so much through so much adversity this year and pitching injuries. Nestor's out. We haven't seen Carlos Rodon. Who's coming back next? Do you know? Likely Harrison Bader. If I had to put money on it, I'm not a gambling woman, but if I if I did, that's what I'd go with. Um, he's been working out a little bit. He's actually eligible to come off the injured list today. I would be surprised if the Yankees activate him today. I spoke to him on Tuesday, and he said right now he thinks that's probably a little bit of a stretch. You have a center fielder, relies on his legs, and he has a hamstring injury, so they want to make sure they get it right. They don't want to bring him back too soon, so he's currently going through that progression of trying to get himself back, but it seems like it's only a matter of time till he'll be back on that roster. And one thing we do you know, Lauren, about Harrison Bader when he's in that lineup in a Yankees uniform. Yeah. He has performed for this team. Yeah, any timetable on any pitchers? Nestor Cortez shut down for probably about two weeks, so they won't know until that shutdown period exactly how the shoulder is doing. Carlos Rodon continues to throw simulated games. He'll probably throw about two more simulated games, and then they'll consider a rehab assignment for him. Uh, who else am I missing? There's like a million people on this injured list right now. They did get Tommy Canely back. Um, and you're looking at that rotation right now. You have Garrett Cole going tonight. He has been sensational all season. So good. Is Randy Vasquez going to be a guy? Like, can he? He could potentially be a guy. Now, he was the 27th man, so they can't bring him back right away. Uh, but when you look at the Yankees' schedule, there are some off days coming up. So the Yankees technically don't really need to use a fifth starter for about 10 days to two weeks. So they have a little bit of wiggle room as far as what they would like to do. But one thing in watching Randy Vasquez in just two major league starts, one thing is very clear. He is not afraid. He will attack attack hitters. He's a little fearless on the mound. Like and uh, Aaron Boone likes it. The Yankees organization likes it. And you can tell he is relishing in the moment. So nice performance out of Randy yeah, Vasquez nice. last night. Yeah, nice. Frankie Montas? Any updates? Started a throwing program, but I think that's a long shot in getting him back this season. While the Yankees are optimistic it, optimistic it could happen, I don't think that's anything they're counting on right now. Okay. Any talk of deadline? I mean, gosh, I'm for <laughs> She just got here. I'm what the day questions. is it? Where am I? <laughs> Any talk of deadline deals that you hear of? No, right? Everything's a little early. A little early. Okay. Yeah.
All right. Three game set with the Red Sox starts tonight, and we saw Nestor Cortez's comments about the state of the rivalry. And we talked to Bill and Anthony, and they say usually, you know, you're fighting with the guys and the teams at the top of the division, and that is the Rays right now. What do you see when you're in the clubhouse in terms of this Red Sox Yankees rivalry? You know what's so weird, Lauren? We're at this point in time of the season, it's the first time these two teams are facing, so it's a little late, it almost seems like. They've okay. played so many other teams. But also, I think anytime they're Yankees, Red Sox, there's a little bit of an extra juice, fans are a little bit more amped up, but I think it's really dependent on how each team is doing and, and what you're fighting for right now. I don't think the Yankees right now are looking at the Red Sox and saying, oh, Red Sox are in town. This is a huge series. I think they're looking at it. OK, we're behind in this division. We need to continue to chip away at the Rays to get to where we want to be at the end of the year. How was the sky at the ballpark? I walked outside yesterday. I saw blue skies for the Robert. I saw blue skies for the first time in a couple of days. How was it? Well, it was it was lovely when the blue skies came back, but it was Armageddon, what, two days ago? Yeah. You couldn't see out um, past the flags and everything. It was completely orange like it was everywhere else in the city, and it's funny. We were waiting, 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 looking at each other, wondering how in the world do they think they're playing baseball in this? It wasn't until a little after 4 o'clock that day that they actually postponed the game, but uh, I, it was just eerie situation at Yankee Stadium yesterday much improved you could still smell the smoke in the air a little bit I spoke to some of the trainers they were taking some precautions in the event that any of the guys had any issues but it didn't luckily seem like any of the guys had issues and the Yankees were able to take the final game of that series